I can feel you. Can you feel me? I see nothing. Can you see me? Hello? I feel the divine. Uh, we appreciate you uh, sending in your questions for our Ask Solana Vlog. Uh, if you haven't yet, uh, you can do that by sending it to PsychicSolana at gmail.com. Uh, please do subscribe to our page here on YouTube and uh, go over onto our Facebook page, uh, Solana's Fan Club, uh, and like us over there. Uh, and those are the only two requirements uh, for getting a free reading with us. Uh, it's more of an energy exchange free for you for the one reading and then I get the appreciation of your um, like uh, comment and share as well you know share the stuff around we, I think all of our messages that we give to our clients are universal in that many of them are about love uh, many of them are about finances um, you know I, I love those questions that we even have one this week that uh, is really about the inner um, journey that we all go through and and what can we do to uh, make sure that that's more balanced so that the beast doesn't come out as often as it does. Uh, and so um, we appreciate those um, that have sent in uh, their questions and we have randomly picked three uh, for this week's uh, video log. Uh, and again, you can send that to ask. So then you can go to also psychicsolana.wix.com forward slash ask Solana uh, and submit your question through our page there as well. Um, and check out our specials. We're always running a, a, a special for our 30-minute reading, um, and we have our March special already up there for St. Patrick's Day. So go and check that out. So first question um, that we chose uh, at random, you know, I, got, I, I don't try and play favorites. I don't know um, everyone who sub submits a reading. I do interact with some, but don't know them uh, and haven't read uh, for them. Uh, that's the other thing. You can only get a reading every three months. So we appreciate you following that. Um, it just allows for everyone else to get a chance to get a reading. We will put your reading to the side, or rather, your, we will put your question to the side uh, if we see that you send one in every week. <laughs> um, but anyway, the first question is from Billy. Uh, and he asks, will he ever find true love? And again, as we said, that question is so universal, Billy. You're not alone. And the, one of the problems um, that we have uh, in this society is that we really don't know what true love is. Uh, we're never really shown it. Um, you know, unless you've got parents that totally, completely doted on you and did nothing. Oh, and of course, this is my life. I try to do a video and <laughs> someone calls. But my secretary, Sharon, who you'll speak with if you ever call the number that's listed on our Psychic Solana site. Um, <laughs> she's also my mother. Uh, but anyway, she got that. Um, and so we appreciate her time as well. And appreciate those that call, uh, that they call back. And know that I'll call you back. Okay, so in any case, um... Billy's question on love, on ever finding true love. Um, you know, when I look into this uh, for you, Billy, the first thing that comes to my mind is expectations. Uh, you know, and it's not that um, you are so what some people want. And, and it's not that um, I feel like you're compared to like the movie Shallow How. If, if you haven't seen the movie Shallow How, um, it's just about perception. Uh, on what the physical attraction may be um, to someone and and then but really looking deep down and seeing their inner beauty uh, for who they really are uh, and who they emanate to be um, but physical appearance may not be what you think they should be uh, that's where the expectation word keeps coming in for you Billy so and I and I, <laughs> I love how spirit plays with my mind all right because first I'm seeing the movie shallow how for you uh, Again, not calling you a shallow how, just giving you that example of the um, expectations. Uh, and then on Saturday Night Live, they used to do a skit called Lower Expectations, uh, <laughs> a little play on the uh, uh, dating scene, the internet dating scene. Um, and, and again, it's just reflective, though, of perception. Um, so what is your perception of what true love is? I know that you inside everyone feels like they're a good person like they you know They have the best love to offer um, But what, what we're truly doing um, is you know, just emanating the energy play that's out there You know love is confusing love hurts love is painful um, And it shouldn't be love is jealous love is envious 
uh, and it shouldn't be. Uh, to have a balanced, true love um, is to love one unconditionally, to accept them for everything they are and not try and change anything about them. Uh, and love gratefully, love in appreciation. Um, so will you ever find true love? I really feel like you're on the path to finding that for yourself. Uh, and so once you begin emanating that, um, you know, it's really more about them just paying attention to who's around you and, and how someone makes you feel. Um, and don't always go, though, with that first chemical reaction because there is a chemical reaction that happens between human beings when they connect. Um, so allow yourself to just move past that. And then really look into the person, ask questions about them, find out what really makes them tick and what they really appreciate. Uh, and, and can they find appreciation in their life? Because if they can't find appreciation in their life, um, then they don't appreciate themselves. And if you can't be nice to yourself, then you can't be nice to other people. Uh, and so we need to get that going, that that's what love's about. All right. Okay, Billy, I hope that answers your question. But I do... And I keep wanting to continue with you, like I'm going to say that I do see love coming in for you. Um, but again, first is finding that, that true love and understanding what that really means inside and, and, you know, getting rid of expectations. It's not about expectations. It's about connections. So good luck finding your connections, Billy. All right. The next question is from Vanessa. And this is one of those questions I was talking about and why I mentioned the beast. Um, because you know, the first question for Vanessa is, will I ever unleash the beast inside of me or will I be able to control it and be a normal person? And, and again, when we talk about releasing the beast inside of us, everyone thinks that they have, um, you know, who they really want to be. And then they have, you know, the shadow person um, because they're filled with all kinds of negative shadow low thoughts. And so that's really where um, I feel for you and um in this question, um, Vanessa, is that you're really asking, you know, what's wrong inside of me? I feel a shift. I feel different. I feel this aggression um, and I don't want to release. I don't want to feel. I don't want to be. I don't want to emanate that. Uh, and I got to tell you, that's the energy play that is going on today. It is just extremely, uh, we are on like high alert um, for the energy play happening. I have got clients that feel like they are under attack. Um, and I mean it physically attack like being raped um, and I and I kid you not when I say that I feel this inside you as well as uh, those people around you know this society the world the planet we're all going through this angst um, and so feeling normal what does that feel like have you ever felt normal no none of us have really felt normal we've never been really able to live in our true natured selves our true natured selves is balanced um, and that's why we, you know, say that mantra spirit gave us years ago. I am connected. I am connected in that universal energy that is flowing around. And I'm grasping onto that, that connection between Mother Earth, the great spirit, um, you know, God, whatever you want to call him. Uh, and then I am grounded. I am grounded in that energy to where I am now balanced to where I have focus and clarity and I am protected and shielded from those that would infiltrate me and I am flowing in the love of the divine and you see yourself being filled with that love 24 7 um, there is an energetic war that's taking place right now um, and it has been I have to say I, I've seen it all my life I, I'm, I'm approaching older age <laughs> and I've seen it all my life so know that that balance is within you but um, I do have some videos that are on my site psychicsolana.wix.com forward slash media page uh, and there are videos on there that you can start getting connected into your energy system uh, and it will bring about that connectiveness for you uh, for those that don't you know really get it and um, they can't see their chakras because it's just black for them that's not no, that's not, you know, unfortunately, it's not odd. It's normal um, because you've not connected with this energy system before. So it's not working in the teamwork properly with you. So once you get yourself in that uh, feel of moving towards um, that energy play, then you can start finding that balance. And, and just doing the uh, mantra in your mind will start retraining those receptors in your brain um, to accept that vibration of that energy because that is your Christ consciousness um, that you are taking ownership of. Um, I hope that helps you. If not, give me a uh, follow-up question. Uh, let me know if you need any assistance with the videos. But thank you for submitting your question. And our next question is from Astrid. And again, a question about love. Um, and I'm, you know, feeling uh, the words um, of conflict um, around this question. 
and I'll explain in just a minute. Um, but the uh, question is from Astrid, uh, and the question is, do you see me in a loving relationship this year at all? We're going into that love question again. What are we doing for our, um, ourselves to be uh, giving that love? You know, we're asking to get, we're asking to get. Uh, but what are we wor ourselves working on within us? What kind of uh, energy play are we allowing uh, to happen to where we feel like, you know, we have to be in uh, this loving relationship? And, I, and when you say loving relationships, I, I know you're speaking of another partner, although I see loving relationships around you. Um, and I also actually feel another... Um, energy around you that's involved um, in what you would consider to be a relationship, but it's not the um, fully committed relationship um, that you would like to be in. Um, and so I, I really don't see that moving forward and, and blossoming into this, um, you know, grandeur experience. Now, this person may have just entered into your energy, um, into your awareness. Uh, and or has been there uh, for just a few uh, short months, maybe just recently met them. Um, but that I'm feeling that in your energy. So um, I would ask you, though, if you don't feel and you're asking this question and you've already met this gentleman, then, um, you know, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you, you're already asking questions. Uh, but and if you hadn't um, already encountered this person, they're coming. Uh, and so I want you to just be able to see that, you know, not everything is, again, what we want to, you know, call uh, our idea of a loving relationship uh, because trust me what we have in our mind as a loving relationship and what we actually experience um, are two different things and that is only because again um, true love love uh, relationships um, have not been the best examples uh, for us in our society so we have a really hard time uh, trying to mirror that um, and you know whatever it is energetically that is preventing this from happening within you uh, again I, I know that you're somewhat of an energy worker so try and get that energy uh, balanced out um, if, if you have to do the video that I have over on my site uh, psychicsolana.wix.com forward slash media page um, and I hope that helps um, and so again I thank you uh, for watching my YouTube channel here uh, and for asking your questions uh, there's no question ever too big or too small uh, we will only be doing three questions a week so get those questions in quickly um, we do just pick them at random once they are all in have them in by Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Uh, and be sure and again like our page um, over on Facebook and subscribe to us here on YouTube we thank you and we appreciate your time. I can time. feel you. Can you feel me? I see nothing. Can you see me? And I feel as if I jumped in a hole. But still holding on.